Hello, YouTube. We are back for another installment for Roger Metarog's Witchcraft Avon Golden Age book. And this is a very special upload because we're doing something that we never did before in the channel or outside of the channel. So this is the interior of the book. It is a musty smell. It's in horrible shape. This is gonna be a project by itself, the interior. It's in really rough shape, but we're gonna work on it. So I flattened it out in my humidity chamber, has severe water damage, etc. But we're not dealing with this right now. The only reason why I have it out is because I made a template. And the template that I made is dealing right there or right here this is the size of the book or the book's cover this is the cover side or the front and then this is the back so why are we saying this what are we doing the cover is so brittle on roger's book that i am going to reinforce the cover with Tengojo paper, the whole thing. And we're gonna do this from the back side. So how are we gonna do this? Right here is the front cover. Right here is the back cover. Now this is the size of the cover. And remember, this is two books being combined so what i want to do is i want to try to position it as best as possible so we have the right shape of the married cover in relation to the interior of the book so that looks pretty good to the best of my powers the next thing that we're going to do, and remember, this is novel. I never did this before on the channel. I am going to reinforce this whole cover with Tengojo paper. This is the Tengojo paper that I cut out to size off camera, and I put it in or on the roller for easy application. Then what I am going to do is I have my trusty brush. I have my methyl cellulose. So what I am going to do is I am going to paint methyl cellulose on the cover and then we are going to roll the Tengojo paper on to the entirety of the cover. And we're gonna start nice and slow. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my brush, I'm gonna dip it in the methyl cellulose, and I'm gonna get a nice amount on it, but not that, uh, not that much. And I wanna start it off with putting pressure on the cover, and I'm just gonna go up and I'm gonna paint with one brush with the methyl cellulose. And you'll see it will curl automatically. Then I'm gonna take my Tengojo paper and I'm gonna start the process of installing it on the cover. And this is going to protect the cover for handling because right now this is a very brittle book and we want to make it where Roger can actually read it. And this is the first time that I am doing something of this nature. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start brushing the methyl cellulose and I'm going to go outwards, outwards towards the edge of the book 
I'll move my hands so the camera picks it up. And this is going to attach, or hopefully it's going to make it where the cover will become stronger because we don't wanna mess around with having a book that all you do is touch it and then after touching it, it falls apart. So right now I shifted it, which is fine because we'll adjust it as we go. So there we go, that's good. And I need to put this up a little bit. And believe me, it may look a little sloppy as we go, but I do everything on the camera so you can see if there's a mistake, if there's an issue that I did, you see it, you see it live or recorded on tape, but it's still a live procedure. So let's, let's continue. Let's continue with the methyl cellulose and I wanna to try to work a little bit faster. Painting it on, and I'm sorry if my arm is covering the actual work product, but this is what has to happen. So the issue then becomes, you might be saying to yourself, Jerry, what happens when you do leaf casting? Well, what I think may happen is that I will reactivate the actual methyl cellulose by wetting the cover for the leaf casting. And then after I leaf cast it, I am going to apply more methyl cellulose to make sure that the Tengodro paper adheres nicely to the book. So we're gonna continue. So if this was going to be submitted to CGC, most likely this would get a conserved grade, I think, if I sent it under someone's name. Uh, someone else's name if they didn't know it was me <laughs> only kidding so the reason why this may get a conserved grade is because it is completely reversible what i am doing because this can be removed by soaking the cover in water so i just want to check and make sure that i'm not overlapping and it looks good so we're gonna now do the methyl cellulose on the donor page, and we'll continue by moving it away from the spine. So this is, I'm doing this so Roger could read the book, he can thumb through the book, he's not going to encapsulate it, and that's unfair for him because What's the point of having a conserved book if you cannot read it? And people are probably saying, well, Jerry, why do you send your books in to CGC? You can't read them when they're encapsulated. And to answer that question, when I send books to CGC, a lot of times I do it for the challenge. I like to see what grade I can get. I like to see if I am able to get the conserved grade. I like to see if I can increase the grade of the book. So it is a little competitive nature of on my behalf. So here we go. We're going to continue applying the methyl cellulose. And this methyl cellulose also will strengthen the fibers of the book and it will make it as indicated where Roger can actually thumb through it and he could read the book without fear of it falling apart. So there you go. I have the 
actual cover reinforced with Tengojo paper. Now what we do is we're going to lift our reme up and we're going to put the book to the side. I'm going to take my template and put it to the side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my trusty glass over so the camera can see it. So what do we do next? We're going to take the cover and I'm going to put it over to the side so I can prep the actual cover for weight because we have to put weight on it. So this is another piece of Ramey paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same as if I am working on a leaf casted document. Then we're going to take the cover that is reinforced the entirety of the cover with the methyl cellulose. I have a piece of Reme paper on top and I have a piece of Reme on the bottom so we're good. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to take a piece of paper towel and I'm going to place it on top of the Reme paper. We are looking at this cover as if it is wet, which it is because the methyl cellulose and the, excuse me, I had to walk out of my room. The methyl cellulose and the water is just water. So when the methyl cellulose dries, we have a situation where we do not wanted to dry ripply. So that was the procedure guy. The first time that anything like this was done, I am putting this here because I don't want the light to bleed through and reflect off of the paper. I will keep this overnight between the pieces of glass. Once it is dried, I will remove it. And then we're going to go to the leaf casting process. So stay tuned, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the novel Tengojo Reinforcement episode, first time ever, and hopefully it works. I think it will. Stay tuned.